Greetings all, Fanny here for Libra's Daily Oracle Message. Libra, I hope you're having a good day and you're finding some time to relax today and do something you love. What wants to come out for you? I'm pretty sure these are the same first two cards that another deck got, but okay. We, uh, we're making some changes. You have stars. You can manifest every wish and protest. Start a revolution. So maybe what you are manifesting and bringing about in your world are changes that have very much been needed to happen. And this doesn't have to be like a worldwide protest, marching down to the Capitol kind of thing. But it is a change that you need to make in your life because you are your own knight. You don't need someone to come and save you. And you're realizing that A, you deserve sugar, not salt. And that you don't have to make, you don't have to wait for someone to give you what you need. Something lovely will grow from this. Whatever it is you are working on, whatever it is you are doing for yourself in your life right now, something beautiful and amazing will grow from it because you're doing it from a place of love, from a place of desire and freedom. You have tower, unplug and relax for a spell. Let yourself go. Let yourself relax. Take some time to do something that you do love. Yep. Homework. Take yourself out on a date. Value yourself. If no one else is doing so, Libra, if no one else is treating you like a god or a goddess, then treat yourself like such. Treat your body like the temple that it is because you are valuable, because you are perfect. Remember to practice self-love. You need a you need a self-care day, Libra. You need to just do what you want to do. It's the time for healing, not war. And this is something that you will do for yourself. This is also a pair of cards that came out for someone else. I can't remember if it was the one I just did or one before. But for you, Libra, this is going along with your entire message of self-empowerment, self-love. You're doing this all for who you and the person that you want to become. And I'm incredibly proud of you, honey. Okay. What wanted to come out? Yep. Look at yourself with love. Frame yourself with diamonds and beauty. You have a beautiful crescent moon here, which could be in reference to subconscious energies. You have a little, uh, I can't, station wagon. That's the word, station wagon. So maybe you're going on a road trip. You're certainly going to have some options for adventures. And you have some very wise people watching over you. Come back here, Chi-Chi. I say that because Chi-Chi is one of my guardians. She was my grandmother's best friend who actually passed away on my second birthday. She was a very important person to my mom. And so she loved giraffes. So whenever I see giraffes, I think of Chi-Chi. So thank you for watching over us. You have the scissors here to cut away and remove anything from your life that does not serve you so that you can rebuild something brand new from what is left. You have a family crest here, but maybe this is a family that you are building. Maybe this is something that you are coming to and connecting with, your family energy. You've got a, a mushroom in a teacup, so you're going to have like a little goblin person tea party, and I adore that. But I also feel like you want you need to know libra that it's okay to make mistakes because nothing is really a mistake everything is an opportunity to learn and everything is a lesson or a blessing and when you label things on when you take a situation and label it as a mistake as something that wasted your time you're looking at the entire situation with a negative perspective and you're going to miss what you really needed to know from that situation Take a step back out of the damaged ego that is reacting like this and look at the situation with clear eyes. Maybe, you, maybe, you, yeah. Look, that is two things of tea right there. You need to have some tea. If you drink a lot of coffee, maybe you need to take a break from coffee and drink tea instead. There are lots of teas that have caffeine and will give you energy. There are black teas. There are special morning teas. My personal favorite is Yogi's. Um, caramel sunrise it tastes like a cinnamon roll and it's delicious and so that is a, a, an important reminder to you to be careful what you put in your body because you have a lot of options but you don't need to eat everything it's good to enjoy things it's good to treat yourself and have those pleasures but in the overindulgence 
can be a very bad thing. So moderation in all things, Libra. This is an incredible message of self-empowerment and self-love, and I love that I was able to deliver this to you. Have a beautiful day, Libra.